You know what that means. We're back on the podcast, Happiest Hour. All right. We're back. Here we are, man. It feels like I haven't been uh, on the mic in a long time, and that's because I haven't. Banked up two episodes, you know, got a little bit ahead. So I could have some chill time. Enjoy the first week of the NFL season in peace. Not have to worry about doing this shit. But uh, not that it's shit, you know. It's just a little bit of effort. I do all the work myself, obviously. So, you know, wanted a little break. And I got it. Uh, Week one of the NFL season fucking ripped, dude. Straight up ripped. But we'll get to that later. I, first and foremost, want to just shit all over. As you can see here in front of me, I found the Fall Flannel Bud Light Seltzer Pack that I had mentioned in episode 11. Found them at the liquor store. I only have uh, three of the flavors left because they're fucking terrible. Only one out of the four flavors was even fucking remotely drinkable. So let's just go ahead and... Pull the fucking seltzer scale up real quick and run through these. Pumpkin Spice, 0 out of 5 stars. Toasted Marshmallow, 0 out of 5 fucking stars. Maple Pear, 0 out of 5 fucking stars. And the last flavor was Apple Crisp. I'll give it one fucking star. Terrible, dude. They're all fucking terrible. The Apple one is remotely drinkable. It sounds like it's going to be fucking refreshing. But you know what? It's like a caramel apple. It has like fucking little hints of cinnamon and caramel in there with the fucking apple. And it's just, all of them are just too fucking sweet and nasty. So, literally the biggest waste of money I've ever fucking uh, had in my life. And it's all good. I'm just going to keep them in my fridge and ice people with them now. Because they're that fucking bad. So, anyone who's coming over to my house, just watch your back is all I'm saying, you know. Anyway, man, hold on, let me clean something up real quick. I was uh, screenshotting some misconnections before the the pod started. And boy, do we have some good ones. Again, we'll get to that later. For now, you know what? Let's just uh, jump into the NFL talk, man. Week one fucking popped off. Cowboys lost to the Bucks. Everyone could have kind of seen that coming unless you're a Cowboys fan. Uh, but they put up a good fight, honestly, man. It was a it was a good back-and-forth game, as you would pretty much expect. Cowboys defense still doesn't look good, so that's probably going to be a problem for them. And after the game, they lost a bunch of players. Uh, not a bunch, I guess. A handful of players, and that's going to hamper them moving forward. Uh, speaking of injuries, though, the fucking Ravens, uh, I know I recorded the last podcast before, like, all this shit popped off. The Ravens lost their whole running back room, had to start from scratch, so now they got all the, like, washed up dudes, Le'Veon Bell, uh, Latavius Murray, and Devontae Freeman, and, uh, I mean, I feel for them, man. Injuries are a motherfucker, and the Eagles have been injury-plagued, it feels like, for the last five fucking years. Except for this year, thankfully. Let's knock on wood for that. Uh, I feel like Carson Wentz took the injury curse to Indianapolis, though, because they're getting pretty fucking injured. I swear to God, I don't burp one time until uh, until I hit record. Until I hit record, then I'm like, uh, then I'm like, uh, you know? Anyway, moving along. Um, What else? Oh, but the Ravens played the Raiders on Monday Night Football, and god damn, that game was a barn burner, man. Uh, Just kept going back and forth, went to overtime, the Raiders eventually won the game, which, I mean, it was at home in Las Vegas, you know, their home opener. Kind of got to let them win that one for the books. Um, No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Anyway, I mean, the Eagles looked great. We, granted, we played the Falcons. They're not the best team, but, uh, Jalen Hurts looked like he was just clicking right away with the new coaching staff and all the young receivers. So that's, uh, you know, 
Couldn't ask for more from them. That's really uh, just optimistic for the season. Overall, though, man, week one was fun. It was cool to see all the fans back in the stands and just have the good energy and vibes that uh, we missed out on last year. I mean, they had football, but it was fucking weird, dude, and, like, the games just didn't seem right. The Eagles personally fucking sucked, so it's good. It's good to start out on a on a fucking positive note this year. And a shout out to everybody who came over for the week one bash at my house last weekend. It was a good time. Uh, we got super drunk. We drank a bunch of Liquid Death too, man. Shout out Liquid Death. Waiting for that sponsorship, baby. Holler at me. Uh, shotgun a bunch of Liquid Deaths, trying to like mellow out the fucking drunkenness of drinking a hundred fucking Yinglings in a uh, course of six hours or so. Didn't work though. Uh, so got to figure something else. Got to retool as they say, uh, dude, but we fucking, we were outside throwing the football at halftime, uh, during the noon game. And this little dog had been wandering around the neighborhood for, I don't know, the last like five or six days before that. And she finally like got the courage to, she came up and like, was just saw we were having a party or whatever. And just like, she was just so sweet and lovable, man. I couldn't I couldn't just let her get back out on the street. So took her in. She kicked it with us all day. Uh we named her Petunia. And she she had a great time. She got along with the Bostons and stuff and uh kept her for a few more days and uh found a home for her. So shout out to Devin, man. Uh good friend of the pod. You all know him from the Growler Pod and other things, I'm sure. Uh but he stepped up, man, and took her in, so Big ups to you, brother. Love you for that. And it'll just be cool to be able to see her now. Like, she went to a homie's house where I can still fucking see her grow up. Because she was, she was for sure a puppy. She was tiny, dude. And she was she was really cool. Uh, so, that was cool. That was a really fun part about uh, last weekend as well. But now we're on to week two, man. Kicks off tomorrow. I'm doing this pod on a Saturday night, because I don't really got shit to do. I'm going to the Eagles-Cowboys game next Monday, so I'm just trying to conserve my money, you know, not fucking go too wild uh, before we get out there. Just kicking it. Uh, I was upstairs watching Penn State and Auburn. It looked like it was a pretty good game so far. I think Auburn scored. It made it 17-21 to 21 when I came down here. So looking forward to going back upstairs and seeing how that one wraps up here in a little bit. But anyway, that's enough of the fucking sports talk. Actually, no, you know what? I got to shit on the Giants and the football team real quick. Uh, The NFC East straight up fucking stinks. We all know it. It's no fucking secret. Uh, Look, right now the Eagles are the only one that won a game, and everyone had the fucking Dallas Cowboys up top, and then the football team, their defense is going to be so fucking crazy good, and the Giants got all these weapons. Well, guess what? (laughs) All of them. All of them. Football team in New York played uh, Thursday night. They both looked fucking terrible. Daniel Jones fucking just penalties. The football team fucking won it, but God. The NFC stinks, man. That's all I got to say. Wrong one. That's it. (laughs) NFC East. Go birds, though. Okay, now now we can wrap the sports talk up. So, I over the course of however long it's been since I've been recording, I've been seeing a lot of good stories on Twitter. A lot of juicy ones we could dive into. We'll start first with this one. Uh, you know what? Let me fucking... Let me pull up the actual story. I just screenshotted stuff, so... Won't be able to read the rest of it, you know? Okay, obviously never going to find that. Uh, 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 there we go. Wow, I didn't even fuck up typing that. Cool. Uh, food Insider. Boom, didn't fuck up again. Your boy is a professional typer. Okay. It says, a headline. Let me read the right headline. Uh, why are McDonald's McFlurry machines always broken? Question mark. The U.S. government is set to find out. Now, 
If you've ever been to McDonald's and ordered a McFlurry, you can relate to this story. Naturally, I was hooked. Now, did I read it? No, I screenshotted it so I could read it on the podcast with you all. Let's see. Uh, the investigation into the machine comes after the Biden administration in July opened a probe into products across a wide swath of industries. Hey, dude. Okay, how many fancy words are you trying to fucking sound cool with, you know? Investigating whether or not the manufacturers obstruct consumers from fixing the project themselves. The FTC wants to know how McDonald's reviews suppliers and equipment, including the ice cream machines, and how frequently franchise owners work on their own machines. Oh, so basically they fucking think... They think uh, the the suppliers won't let fucking anyone, any like Joe Schmo try and fix it. They have to send their own person, I guess. And that's like fucked up, honestly. But uh, Then it goes on to say the ice cream machine in question accounts for nearly 60% of the, oh, I thought it was going to say the wholesales, of the chain's dessert sales. Well, yeah, no shit. Were there other fucking desserts? Apple pie? That's it. Fucking shamrock shake during March? Is the shamrock shake part of the McFlurry machine? Probably not. Who knows? Do you know, audience members? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm by myself. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Okay, cool! <sighs> Dude, what are some sounds I haven't played in a long time? I feel like I play them all, not this one though. Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. Or this one. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? What else you got? And then Andy does the splits and tears his scrotum. Okay, I don't care to look this one up. Uh... This is from The Times. Is that the New York Times? There's not a just The Times. Okay. Headline says, Why the stress of work is killing you and what to do about it. Here's what you do. Quit. Simple as that. It's that simple. Oh, I gotta get that on there. It's that simple. Fucking quit. If you hate your job, fucking quit. You know what? Another one will fucking come along probably. You know? If work sucks, quit. I tell people that shit all the time. I'll see people struggling at work. I'm like, hey, quit. I remember one time we were uh, we were out skating. I think we were like 17 or 18 maybe. No, no, no. We were like 19 or 20. I was older for sure. Uh, we went to Taco Bell to get some food like in between skate spots and we were inside. And uh, no, dude, were we younger? No, no, no. And uh, it was me, Travis, Devin, and Andrew, maybe. So we had to have been filming, like, Get Free, 2009. So, yeah, 1920 timeline kind of kind of lines up. Anyway, we went to Taco Bell. We sat down to, like, sit and eat real quick. And uh, a fucking kid threw up all over the floor. And the fucking Taco Bell worker, who for sure was, like, 16, maybe, 17, I don't know how, how old you gotta fucking be to work there, uh, just looked like she, I can't remember if it was a fucking guy or girl, had been having the worst fucking day, and that fucking happened, and the manager's like, ah, oh, go fucking clean it up, whatever, and the person's like fucking mopping it up and shit, just looking so bummed, and I was like, hey, fucking quit this job, who gives a shit, it's Taco Bell, you know? And I think about that person a lot. I wonder if they quit. I hope so. I would have fucking quit. Oh, I fucking blew my chance. Where is it? Oh. No, it's this one. I hope so. I hope so they quit. I hope so. Hope they fucking quit, man. Uh, If I ever fucking remember what they look like, I'm going to go back to that Taco Bell. And if I see them, I'm going to be like, hey, why didn't you fucking quit 14 years ago? 
That'd be really sad if they worked there still 14 years later, you know? Anyway, that's a fucking story for your ass. Bro, I need to get that on there. I'm going to write these down before I forget. All the ones I fucking have on here I already got. Ah, what was the fucking first one, dude? That's a story for your ass, Kanye. Damn it, man. What was the fucking first one I said I need to get on there? Don't remember. Can't fucking remember anything after like five seconds. Okay. See, I already fucking forgot what I was about to type. That's a story for your ass. Let's see if that's on there. Wow, I typed Kanye West, that's a story for your ass, and the third result says Kanye West likes big fingers in his ass. Okay, we gotta watch this. Fingers those. in his ass, fingers in his ass, Kanye West he likes, fingers in his ass, fingers in his ass, fingers in his ass, <laughs> Kanye West he likes big fingers in his ass. What in the fuck was that? Bro. This shit has 632,000 views. First comment pinned says, there are a concerning number of comments about nutting. Okay. This is just a truly terrific thread here. Let's fucking screenshot that comment. This will be the national anthem when Kanye West becomes president. Amazing. Wow, dude. Okay, I gotta save this video real quick. That was just truly something else, you know? And sidetracked me. I already forgot what I was fucking looking up. Let's go back. Where where would I fucking Where do you get off? Wow. Oh, yeah. Kanye West. That's a story for you ass. What? Dude. Another video. Does Kanye West like a finger in his butt? <laughs> Is this one the same person? It's not. Wow. All right. Well, let's see what this one's about. Ads. Fucking love it. Go fuck yourself, ad. Go away. This, this is from a fucking actual, like, news source called What's Trending. I guess not technically a news source, but, like, a verified fucking account on YouTube. But I'm not going to help you get there with one of my fingers. Unless uh, you've never heard of the internet before and you're just discovering it for the first time today, you've heard of this Kanye West Twitter thing. Talking, 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 talk. Baby, let's just knock it off. Let's do a quick review. Basically, Kanye announced the title of his new upcoming album, Waves, and Wiz Khalifa made a negative comment about it. Kanye then misinterpreted another tweet to be about his wife, Kim Kardashian, and went on a Twitter rampage. Oh, okay. Although Kanye eventually oh my God, get to the point. tweets and complimented Wiz's pants, the damage was unfortunately done. Christ. And then they just keep fucking playing snippets of the fucking songs. We get it. We know who Kanye is. You don't have to turn a fucking 10 minute or 10 second story into a 2 minute fucking video. By the way, this one only has 40,000 views and the one that we watched a second ago had almost fucking or had 632,000. These tweets directed at Kanye's own ex, Amber Rose. Oh Don't yeah, worry. Amber Rose said he likes fucking getting fingered in the butt or some shit. That's right. What if he does, man? Who fucking cares? Leave him alone. Dude's a billionaire. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. <clears throat> wow. Well, we really just fucking went off the rails on that one, huh? Dog and dog and dog and dog. Wow. Okie dokie. All right. We're fucking caught up there. Cool. Okay, cool. All right. Where did we fucking get off? Oh, fingers in the butt. Get off. No pun intended. 
Speaking of Kanye, though, one of my screenshots uh, says the piano on the Come to Life song on Donda was played by a sixth grader, and I just find that truly fascinating because that's a great song, and the piano work on that is just fucking fantastic. So kudos to that sixth grader. Don't know who you are. Shout out to you, though. All right, how many did we go through? Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Oh, yeah, I want to fucking find this actual story because this shit was funny as hell. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. All right, where's that fucking Steve Wozniak story? Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> the headline is... Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak starts a new space company to clean up space debris. And then the reason I wanted to look at this is because the comments are fucking hilarious. Motherfuckers love hopping in the comments and talking shit, dude. Where are we? Okay, here it is. From TAC TKK. Uh, um, question, how about cleaning the planet first and try to eliminate the dangers and issues that we have in our current habitat, you know, like pollution? She says a bunch of other shit, don't care. Like, shut the fuck up. Remember when you were in school and your fucking teacher would say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all? Shut the fuck up. What are you doing about it, you fucking dumb bitch? God damn it. Don't know if you're a fucking dumb bitch or not, but you know what? And here you are, okay? Okay, cool! Uh, okay. Okay, this guy made a good point. People want to complain just for the heck of it. He wants to clean up space, which is very important as well. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, man. Sometimes I just fucking screenshot shit when I'm drunk, and then I'm like, ah, eh, I'll fucking, I'll try and talk about it. That was kind of interesting, though, right? They can't all be fucking bangers. Oh, this one, dude. Carmine's hostess attacked after asking diners for proof of vaccination. Now, I haven't clicked this yet. But I want to point out two things. Carmine's obviously going to be a fucking Italian restaurant, and it's in New York City. Two, I am willing to bet the people who attack the hostess are from Texas or Florida. Let's find out. Oh, fucking goddammit. Um. Oh, typed Carmine's, and then I was going to type the rest of it, and the first thing, it says Carmine's Italian Restaurant, New York City. Of course. Because why wouldn't it be? All right, let's find this shit. Here we go. Okay. Uh, having a Carmen's restaurant. Cell phone video. Oh, they're from Houston. I oh, fucking called it, dude. They're from fucking Houston. I called it. I fucking knew they'd be from Texas. Because, of course. I wonder if I'm going to be able to find this video to put it on here. I fucking ads. Oh, damn. They're beating the shit out of this girl. Jesus. Damn, they're jumping her. It's three fucking chicks jumping the hostess. Hey, she didn't do anything, you know? Why is this only playing out of one of my fucking headphones? Okay. Well, first of all, that video is fucking terrible, but... She was very intimidating, crying, all that. Carmine's chef Alejandro Delgado said. 22-year-old victim had only been at the job three weeks. Asked the women for their vaccination proof and ID cards to max vaccine cards. When she questioned the legitimacy of their vaccination cards, the added... Okay, well, she called him out. 
Out of town visitors got upset and lunged at her, punching her repeatedly, also injuring two other staff members. Okay. Well, dude, uh, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I just saw a person walk by, and now I'm creeped out because in the basement by myself. Cool. Cool. I'm in a haunted house. That's fucking awesome, man. That's fucking awesome, dude. Cool. Gonna die down here. Guess I'll die now. Guess I'll die now. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Golly gosh, you know. How long have we been going? 26 minutes. Well, fuck me running. What else we got on here? I had some good stuff written down, but I feel like I'm blowing through it. I just wrote seltzer suck. So lazy, couldn't even type it. Yeah, no. That's it. That's it for now. Oh, dude, you know what? I'm going to check the text line real quick. <laughs> Surely there's nothing in there, but you know what? Why not, dude? And if you don't know the text line phone number... It's 806-318-8090. Shoot me a text, man. Holler at your boy. Be fucking chit-chatting, dude. Uh, Nope, nothing. Oh, I forgot I replied to that dude about needing a ride, and then I said, okay, fuck you, dude. Eat shit. Couldn't be meaner about it. But fuck that dude. You know? Just some fucking Craigslist. Some Craigslist fucking Corey or whatever. Tried to think of a name off the top of my head. Couldn't. Couldn't do it. I can't do it. Uh. Muted. Uh. Awesome. Dude, I am so motherfucking sick of the heat. I want summer to be over so bad. Fucking uh, autumnal equinox is what? Four days away? What is that, Wednesday? It better fucking just cool off in a flash, bro. I'm over it. Fucking 90s still and shit. I'm ready for some fucking colder weather. I'm wearing pants right now because I was skating earlier and I think skating in shorts is weird. So I'm just hot as fuck. Hot as fuck down here. Staring at all the Halloween decorations. Maybe that's why I thought I saw someone out of the corner of my fucking eye. Just got goddamn skulls and fucking shit everywhere right here because of decorating the house for Halloween. Scary stuff, man. Don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Anyway. Halloween counters fucking started up, dude. 43 days. Ready for it. And the only reason I know that without fucking looking it up is because I got a little little fucking thing I flip over every day. And I got OCD, so I got to flip it. I also have a calendar on my refrigerator. And I got to mark off the days every day, even though it doesn't fucking matter. But that's what? But that's what? That's what? But guess what? OCD won't let you do that. OCD won't let you just walk away. I uh, I bought these door sensors for my back door. For my back door and my garage, like my big garage door that opens and closes, you know. All fucking doors open and close. You get the fucking point. <clears throat> uh, because my OCD is so fucking bad, dude. I check, I close the door, I check the door. I count all three of my dogs when they come inside. I check the door again. I fucking count the dogs again. And I go to sleep or I leave the house or whatever. And instantly I'm like, did I leave one of the dogs outside? Did I close the door? Knowing goddamn well I did. But guess what? OCD won't let you fucking let it go, dude. You got to go check. So, all, dude, there's times where I'm like pulling out of the driveway. I got to go back in the fucking house. Got to do it all over again. And then I can let it go. So, 
sorry, that was a sidetrack. I bought these door sensors that tell me door open, door close, whatever. I can check it. Dude, not even helping the OCD. It'll fucking, I'll close it. I can check the app. It'll say it's closed. Still tripping. Still tripping about it. I need fucking medication or something, man. I got to count my fucking dogs. But that one's, you know, I'm fine with that one. Because at least I'm worried about them. I don't want them to fucking be outside and shit. I don't even know where, where did we, where did I get off from that? OCD. Got OCD real bad. End of story. That could have been it. Hey, I got OCD. It's real bad. Cool fucking story, bro. Just when I think you've said the stupidest thing ever, you keep talking. That's me. That's me. Who's that girl? It's Jess. All right. All right. I guess that leaves nothing else but hot pockets. <laughs> I was choked on my own spit. Nah, you know what the fuck time it is, man. It's time for them. Miss Connections. Let's get into it, dude. I got some good ones. Like I said earlier, I pre, pre-screenshotted them before we started so I don't have to sit here and look through them. And let me tell you, these are some of the most clever slash dumb, you know, fucking work around words play on words, whatever. My mind just went fucking blank. It's all good. Let's go. Uh, Hold on. Let me take a drink. <sighs> Subject line, Anon Wood Delivery. Anon Wood Taker open for multiple deliveries today after 3 p.m. Huge wood is best, but open to most. Also spelt deliveries wrong. D-E-L-I-V-E-R-Y-S. I-E, baby. I-E. I-E-S. For multiple deliveries after three. So this dude trying to get railed out a few times after 3 p.m. Cool. Cool. Cool story, dude. <clears throat> oh, dude, these got me. There was like a whole fucking series. Like, just one after another, after another, after another talking about roosters and hens and shit now it was probably all the same fucking person but he definitely worded them all differently and i i just picked the best one i thought it was fucking hilarious subject line rooster looking hello my rooster is on the hunt for a hen or a hen and rooster i'm ddf six foot 225 and a seven inch so send stats and pick if interested thanks my rooster is on the hunt for a hen or a hen and rooster. Oh, so both, I guess. I thought he just typed a hen twice, and I was like, oh, you fucking idiot. Also, what's DDF mean? Should I know that? We're about to find out. Ah, drug and disease free. Yeah, I guess that should be something I should... I should know, I guess. I don't know. Uh, okay. Oh, closed out. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Gotta go back to the folder. All right. <clears throat> this one's interesting as hell. Subject line, truck cleaning. Any truck drivers looking to have their cab cleaned? Let me know. Mail. I like that one. Short and sweet. That one, honestly, you could be like, yeah, maybe he really just meant like fucking clean their cab of their truck. But you know he's talking about like, I don't know, sucking dick or eating ass or something. It's cool. Go it goes both ways. What the fuck is that? And that's what we're that's what we're here. That's what we're all about here at uh Happiest Hour. Okay, dude. This one is fucking this one's so good. I might save that one for last. Uh, 
Nah, these last two are both pretty funny. Uh, subject line, unloading horses. Older hand looking to unload horses. I can handle the biggest. See another one where it's like, uh, maybe he's just looking to fucking unload some horses. Or maybe he's a fucking a rooster looking for a hen, you know? So many animal ones. Just, uh, just all fucking dumbass ones, honestly. All right, it's the last one. So, <laughs> this one is just honestly pretty fucking funny to just read out loud. Subject going cable box repair. Looking to repair them female cable boxes on a regular basis. WM here. What's WM? Should I know that? Female cable boxes, you know? What's WM mean? Fuck. Working man? Oh, okay. Yeah, I would have never figured that one out. Looking to repair them female cable boxes on a regular basis. Working man here. Female fucking cable boxes. You know? These fucking guys, dude. Oh, fuck you. It's lit. it's lit as fuck. They stay lit. They stay lit. Man, I love misconnections. Feels good to be back, guys. Not that I was ever gone. Haven't missed a fucking Wednesday yet. And I ain't missing one right now. Uh, I guess that's fucking all I got, dude. They're getting shorter and shorter as they go. Before you know it, it'll be down to 30 minutes and then 20 and then 10, then 5. And then it'll just be called the One Minute Podcast, which I think is something that already honestly exists. Let's find out. I'm typing like a motherfucker today, dude. Uh. Hot. Uh. 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 Yep, there is a one-minute podcast. They're all fucking one minute long. Crazy. Damn. This is a genius idea, dude. I'm going to fucking play one real quick. Hello. And welcome to what will be the last episode of the One Minute Podcast Season 2. We have uh, got a complaint on my last episode, Gorilla's Live Performance, that it wasn't actually the Gorilla's, and they've started a lawsuit against... Bro, this shit is only fucking 59 seconds long, and he already lost my attention. So they've given me the option to either Fair. go to go to jail for this fake performance that apparently I put on, or stop season two of the one minute podcast. Oh wow, dude! I spoke way too soon. Now I'm fucking hooked. The gorillas are trying to fucking send him to jail. So the obvious route that I've chosen is to stop season two. Uh, I don't know when season three will be back. Straight up said free. F R E season free. Just not for a while. So it's so very sorry to say that this will be the last episode of season two. Wow. But we'll come back with a bang. Uh season three soon. Oh said Bye. free again. So fucking British. Huh. Alright, well now I want to see if anything fucking popped off with that shit, dude. How do you not have a website? Fucking unprofessional as hell. For God's sake, man. Oh, I guess that is a cool to fucking do it one minute long because then you could just put it on Instagram. Then you're reaching platforms, baby. Put it on the fucking old TikTok. We're on fucking TikTok, dude. I don't fucking follow people or people follow me. I don't even know how that shit works, honestly. Sound so old. But you know what? Doesn't make fucking sense to me. I just upload the fucking uh, 1080p videos flipped vertical. And that's it. I don't really do much work. I, I try and see what hashtags are trending. And that's about it. Doesn't really work. My first few videos got like fucking 700 views. After that, they just been... 
dwindling down. So I don't know. I obviously don't know how to fucking use it. And it's all good. I don't fucking care. So whatever. That's a good way to segue out. Fuck TikTok, I guess. Uh, Also, dude, the last episode where I'm telling the Starbucks story, I don't care if you fucking people fucking come to talk about I go to Starbucks too much or I need to go to a fucking different coffee shop. Guess what, man? It's mostly just for fucking comedy, just to make you laugh. The story is real, yes, and it'll probably happen again. And guess what? I'll go to Starbucks whenever the fuck I want because I'm a fucking adult and I can do what I want. I go to other coffee shops too. Sometimes it's just most convenient. So shut up. Okay? We're ending on a rant. I love you guys though. Thanks for fucking tuning in, listening. And uh, follow me on fucking TikTok, I guess, and see if you can fucking help me figure it out. Uh, nah, in all seriousness, though, I uh, truly appreciate you guys and uh, appreciate you listening and subscribing and liking. Keep doing it on all your podcasts and uh, podcast apps and YouTube, all that good stuff. It really does go a long way. And we'll be back next week, man. We'll be talking more sports i'll be a little bit more prepared this one was kind of just on the fly because i knew i had to knock one out because your boys getting hammered tomorrow sundays are fucking sundays are for the lord you know uh praise up anyway man that's about it uh don't buy these fucking bud light seltzers they suck that's it later